How do you deal with using more than one mobile platform on a regular basis? I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and these are 10 essential cross-platform mobile applications. No matter how bad we wish it were more simple, making the jump from one mobile platform to another is never quite as easy as swapping SIM cards and logging into a few accounts. Application libraries are often the biggest hurdle in the way of a smooth transition, or even using two devices with different operating systems side by side. An iPad with a Windows Phone smartphone, for example, or an Android tablet with an iPhone. Fortunately, there are several cross-platform applications and services that can greatly help make future transitions seamless and painless. Part of every mobile ecosystem is some form of cloud service that offers document editing, note-taking, and task management. But if you quarter yourself with a single platform's offerings, you can't always switch operating systems on the fly without having to manually transfer all your data to another service or deal with insufferable mobile web interfaces. The perfect cross-platform solution is one that is widely known, Evernote. It helps you keep track of everything through taking notes, adding various forms of documents, saving pictures, or even making lists. Essentially, it's the ultimate digital notebook. Evernote is available on Windows Phone, Android, and iOS as a free download. But if you need more storage space, you can upgrade to a premium account. Without a proper way to communicate, smartphones would be a lot less useful. Of course, voice calling is universal, as is SMS. But what if you want a video call or instant message with some friends? You can't FaceTime your friend who has the Galaxy S4. And you can't hang out with your friend who has a Windows phone. For video calls, the best bet is to turn to Skype. It's available for free on Android, iOS, and Windows phone. And of all the various video calling clients, it offers some of the best video and audio quality. It also doubles as a great instant messaging service, even for group messaging. But if you prefer a dedicated IM service, WhatsApp is one of the most popular mobile instant messaging services around. And GroupMe serves as a great group messaging client. Apple offers iTunes, Google offers Play Music, and the subscription service called All Access. And Microsoft offers its own Music Hub and Xbox Music. All are great, viable options for getting your music fix on the go. But what if you want to stream music across multiple devices and platforms? The best option is to choose a third-party service that's available to all, such as RDO or Spotify. Using Spotify, you can stream music on the same account using a PC, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS, or Windows phone. But if you're not a fan of subscription music, you can always go with a free option, Pandora, that lets you create radio stations based on songs, artists, or genres, and stream up to 40 hours per month for free. Of course, you also need a way to identify that song that's playing on the radio or that you hear on a TV commercial. For that, there are two great cross-platform options, Shazam and SoundHound. Press a button, wait just a few seconds, and you will have the song title, artist, album info, and lyrics. Life is much more dull without videos of people doing stupid things, endless video tutorials, and, of course, phone reviews. Having to deal with a mobile platform without a proper YouTube client is something we wouldn't wish on our worst enemy. Fortunately, YouTube applications are available to users on iOS, Android, and Windows Phone. Okay, well, for a short while, there was an official YouTube app on Windows Phone. Not one of those janky mobile web app shortcuts. But it was pulled for not adhering to Google's terms. Now Google is helping Microsoft develop a proper client with ads in tow. Until then, Windows Phone users can download one of the many third-party offerings. For your streaming TV and movie needs, Netflix is the best cross-platform solution. Pay $7.99 per month and you get instant access to a vast selection of movies and television for streaming anywhere. Unfortunately, there are no decent cross-platform solutions for purchasing television shows and movies. Only iTunes for iOS and Google Play Movies for Android. For the shrinking number of people who still read, buying into Google's Playbook service or iBooks isn't a terrible idea. But what if you want to read your books elsewhere, like from a dedicated e-reader? Then you might want to consider going cross-platform and switching over to Amazon's more open offer, Kindle. The Kindle application is available to Windows Phone, iOS, and Android, and it supports bookmark and page sync across all devices. Taking care of finances is important, and if you can't manage your mobile banking efficiently, it can be a real problem. If you bank with Bank of America or HDFC, you're in luck. They provide applications for all three platforms. And if you're a PayPal user, eBay provides PayPal mobile applications for all three platforms as well. If you only use iOS and Android, there are dozens of cloud services that interoperate quite well with the two platforms. But when you throw Windows Phone into the mix, the list of cloud storage services that work well with all three slims down pretty quickly. There are a few options, and among the slim pickings, two champions emerge. 
Xbox, and Microsoft's cross-platform SkyDrive. Of course, when it comes to social media sites, there are tons of options. The Facebook application for iOS and Android was built by Facebook itself, but the Windows Phone Facebook application was made in-house by Microsoft. Still, it has most of the same features as other Facebook applications. And Foursquare, the location-based check-in network, has an official application on all three platforms, as does Twitter. But for Twitter, there are ample third-party applications that allow some extended functionality on all platforms. That's going to do it. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click the thumbs up button below and subscribe to see more videos like this one in the future. Follow us in all the usual places, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at Pocket Now. You can find me on Twitter at Casper Tech. I'm Taylor Martin, and I'll see you next time.